I was always in the house we shot in. People who were staying, you were one of the people who, who stayed in that house, and you, there were a lot of bumps in the night. Well, I, was, I was longing to hear them. I was the most fearful of staying there, and I realized that I had to. It was just part of the process of plunging into this project that I needed to be in that dark space and, and imagine and dream and fear, and I survived. <laughs> I was thinking about this story about a mother and daughter in 2008. Fast forward to the souvenirs. Often I finish a film and there's something out of that film that goes forward into the next film. It's sort of like a game of tag or something. We've known each other for a very long time and we've been talking about our mothers and our relationships with our mothers for 50 years. And then more recently, we started to talk more specifically about this particular, I call it a chasm, this sort of, the way in which mothers of our mother's age and daughters of our age, that particular relationship, particularly in the kind of milieu that our mothers were brought up in, brought with it a kind of uh, veiledness. And so we sort of spun ourselves through the souvenirs and the sort of motor of the relationship between the mother and daughter in those two films made us want to go forward and look at them specifically in this film. A lot of my fears come out in this story and my own fear of the dark, but also my fear of something happening to my mother. And I think at the root of that fear, or, or, or more specifically what that fear partly is, is, is and was a fear of my mother dying. So that was the tunnel that I was in. And my, my mother was alive when we were shooting the film and then she sadly died when I was editing it. So that, uh, I, it was like I went through a grieving process in making this film while she was actually still alive. And then it changed my, my response in a way when she did eventually die. But my fear throughout my life has been something happening to my mother. So that uh, idea of, of it being a ghost story I can't separate the ghost story from the mother and daughter. We started originally thinking about a story, a relationship between the mother and the daughter, and I was always going to play the daughter. Because I'd played Rosalind in the earlier films, we got a little sort of greedy and went, oh, oh maybe, well, maybe I should play Rosalind. And then there was this moment when it came out of me, maybe I should play both. And the second that came out into the ether, the film that you, uh, will see was born. That's the text of the film. Mm -hmm. That the the it was important that that both Rosalind and Julie be played by the same person. It was just one of those strange moments, which happens a lot. Filmmakers all over the world will tell you, films make themselves. They find a way of kind of inspiring you with little impulses, and and you just have to keep your ears and eyes open. You just have to keep picking them up when they come. Mm -hmm.